Hello everyone and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. The problem which we are going to see today is to replace every element with the greatest element on its right side. So let's see what this problem is all about. You will be basically given an array of integers and you have to replace every element with the next greatest element. So by the next greatest element we mean the greatest element on the right side of the array. So uh, since there is no element next to the last element, so we will replace it uh, with minus one. So this is kind of a corner case. So uh, let's understand this uh, with an example. So if you are given this array, uh, then uh, let's uh, try to iterate over uh, each element one by one. So when we iterate over 16, so uh, we'll be looking at the uh, remaining array. So the next greater element is 17. So we replace 16 with 17. Then we come here and we see that the element current element is 17. Uh, so we'll look at uh, these remaining elements and the greatest element is five here. So we'll replace it with five. Then we come here again, the greatest next greatest element is five. We replace it with five. Then we come here, same case, the next greatest element is five. We put it here. Then we come to five, the next greatest element has to be two because that's the only element which is left now. Then we come to the two itself as this is the last element and this is a corner case. So we'll replace it with minus one. So this is basically the problem. Now we are going to look at the multiple solutions. So uh, first of all, let's uh, look at the naive solution. So the method one is the naive method here. So naive method says uh, that you just run two loops. The outer loop will uh, one by one pick array elements from left to right. And then inside that outer loop, we will have an inner loop which will find the uh, greatest element present after the picked element. So note that the outer loop will be running for the length of the array and the inner loop will run from the uh, next element of the uh, uh, next element which is being processed by the outer loop. So that is why uh, it uh, checks for the greatest element present after the picked element. Finally, the outer loop will replace the uh, picked element. So after the after the inner loop is uh, done, then uh, it will return as the uh, basically the largest element. Uh, so will basically uh, replace the uh, picked element uh, with the greatest element found by the inner loop. So uh, the time complexity of this uh, solution will be order of n square because we are uh, running one outer loop and we have one inner loop inside it. So in the worst case scenario, uh, we will have the time complexity of order of n square. Uh, now let's look at a tricky method uh, by which we aim to achieve the, uh, we, we basically achieve, uh, aim to improve the time complexity. So the method two, we call it tricky method. So the tricky method, uh, what it'll do is it will basically replace all the elements using one traversal of the array. Uh, in the previous solution, uh, which had the time complexity of order of n square, we were doing uh, multiple iterations of the same array. But in this solution, we are going to do only a single uh, traversal of the array. So the idea is basically to start from the rightmost element and then move to the left side one by one and keep the track of maximum elements. And while we move and keep track of the maximum element, we basically replace every element with the maximum element. Uh, let's see the uh, code which will uh, give a better, uh, which will basically give you a better idea. So here is the function. So here we have the array and its size. So first of all, we initialize the next greatest element as the uh, last element. So note that uh, the this is the size and the last element will be an element at index size minus one. So the in we initialize the max from right with uh, array size minus one. Then as the uh, next greatest element for the last element will always be minus one as it is a corner case. So uh, we also uh, update the array with minus one here. Note that we have 
uh, saved the value of size uh, array of size minus one in the max from right already. So that's why now we are replacing it with minus one. Now we have this uh, for loop here, which basically runs from i equal to size minus two. So that is the second last element till the uh, first element and it will keep decreasing the value of i. So here we'll have a temp variable which will keep the value of the current element being processed and uh, it will replace it from the maximum right variable. So whatever is the maximum value uh, in, the, in the right of the array, uh, it will be replaced. That value will, uh, will be uh, coming in array of i and then we'll basically update the max from right here. Uh, if it's uh, smaller than temp, so we basically mark it equal to temp. So uh, that's uh, for this method. So uh, let's look at the uh, driver function. So we'll have a driver function here. We have the array, we calculate its size. Then we call the uh, next greatest element and the next greatest function, uh, which was nothing but uh, this function, which we just discussed. Uh, then uh, after we got the modified array, then we are using this function print array to just print the array, which uh, basically iterates over the array and just prints all the elements in it. So the time complexity of this solution is order of n. Why? Because we are just iterating over the array once and uh, we are just, that's why we are just using one uh, for loop. So in summary, we uh, discussed two methods. First one was naive. Uh, and that was the brute force algorithm basically and uh, the, it had the time complexity of order of n square the tricky one had the time complexity of order of n so we'll basically uh, will definitely recommend the uh, method 2 which had the better time complexity so that's all for this tutorial uh, you can visit this link for all the to get all the stuff we discussed in this tutorial and you can also run the code in the ID on, web, uh, on the website of Geeks or Geeks itself uh, to get a first hand uh, feel of the code. Thank you very much.